Good day, everybody. This is Alan from Global Distribution. I just want to take a few minutes of your time to show you um, how to basically upload a, a, a audio file onto an IP Ericsson LG phone uh, because you want to change the ring pattern or the ring tone, I should say, within your IP phone. Um, so you cannot do this, obviously, on the digital side of things. So digital phones is excluded. But obviously, on the IP, this is how you will you would basically massage that. All right, so <clears throat> sorry for my small, a little bit uh, Frenchy accent on the back end. Um, that being said, I just wanted to um, show you basically the, um, uh, the the portion. So first of all, the system actually is, you need to be in the maintenance portion and we're gonna upload the data the file onto the database. Now, before you upload the file, we need to have the proper file format. So it, it, the tones, the ringing tones, um, our, our files actually are on the same format as your VSF would be. So if you're not too sure what they are, I'm sorry, what, let's go that way. So these are the format. So we're looking for uh, EULA 8,000 8, uh, hertz, 8 bits mono format. So the same as your regular CCRs, your regular VSFs basically. So you need to keep this on par. Uh, the only difference is there will not be WAV file. There will be LR X file, so LR0, LR1 format, LR2 format, and so on and so forth, okay? So let me show this to you right now. So if you go into your file system, normally you'd see, you should see by default tons of tone rings already embedded into your box, all right? What we're trying to change is the last ones here, basically. So the LR, I'm assuming it means L for LG Ericsson, R for tone ring, or ring tone, I guess. But anyway, um, this is me. Um, supposing that's what it should be. Um, so that being said, we want to change these basically format, all right? So what we're trying to do is upload these and scrap it off. You can basically check it in. There we go. And just delete it if you don't want it. There we go. We're done. On the digital side, it's embedded into the phone on the IP. There are actually already some files in, in your IP phones, regardless that you cannot touch for the minimum basic rings, obviously. Otherwise, you may have some issues with no ring tones on your phone. So Ericsson thought about that, obviously. So what we're trying to do is basically just go back here, um, take some, some WAV files, right, or MP3 files, any audio files, and just make sure you save them as in the proper format as LR or whatever. In this case, there, this one actually has already been done. Let me show you a little bit what we're trying to accomplish. My good buddy Alan showed me a little bit the Audacity software. I was not too much aware of that software. So I think it's a nice freebie um, software. It does the job for what we need to do um, basically at that point. All right, so let me bring back any of the files. I just took some MP3 free ones actually on the, on the web. Let me double click this one here. Sounds familiar, perhaps. All right, so um, so we're just going to take this file and change it and make sure we have it properly into the format of Ericsson. All right, so it is Frenchy oriented. Sorry for that. I try to scrap my OS just for you, but a little bit not too practical. <clears throat> so I'm sure you can understand and get the hang of that still. All right, so I just dragged it off. All right, now right now this is a stereo, so there's two um, there's two audio there, I guess. So um, at that point, we're going to convert this basically into a uh, into a mono uh, file. All right. So we're going to go there. This is my Audacity. I don't know what version it is to be honest. I got no clue. Uh, I'm sure, I got it. There we go. 2.22. Okay. So it may vary depending of your software level uh, versions, I guess. So um, we're just going to convert. So convert separate stereo to mono. That's what it means. There we go. So I just split the two tracks are there. Skip one off, I guess, basically. There we go. So now I'm mono. What I wanted to do is this is a project portion. So at the bottom, we see the project process. So this saved, when we're going to finish all this, we're going to save as a project. We're going to save the format. So the format, I don't want this to be 44 uh, kilohertz. I want this to be an 8 kilohertz or 8,000 hertz uh, frequency there. And um, what else? I also want to make sure that I'm using the proper format. All right, I'm using 16-bit. All right, there we go. 
So format is done, mono is done, 8,000 hertz is done. Aeration should be happy with that. So let's give it a try. So let me save for file. I want to export, so I'm trying to translate at the same time, to export the audio, all right? And just save it as whatever name you want, basically. It is. It will be a WAV file at that point, all right? So let's do survivor number. I don't know, 10, just to make sure we understand what it means. Now, you need to make sure it's uh, this is the format you're looking for. So something like this, similar for use like a non-compressed, I guess, on the English side of things. All right, should be easy for you guys. Again, um, I want to make sure I'm using WAV. WAV, I don't know how you, how you want to pronounce it, but uh, so it's a WAV format, Microsoft WAV. Okay, and I'm using, in this case, EULA. All right, save it. Are you sure? Yes, I want to validate all this. There we go, we're done. So I'm done with the Audacity portion. Obviously, you can play with the volume up and down. It's too low, too high, whatever. You can play with this. But it's not a video about Audacity. It's a video about the Ericsson box. All right. So let's go back here. So now I have I have my Techno 10. There we go, WAV file. But I don't like the WAV file. In some in some um, in some computers also, you might make sure I guess. And thank you for Alan for reminding this this to me again. Uh, just remember that you want to change the extension. We're going to change the the uh, the wave into uh, into an LR format, which is an Ericsson format. Okay, the compression will stay the back end will stay the same. It's more of the name and, and and I guess the extension that we want to play with. So make sure you do see the extension. Otherwise, you don't know what you're doing. Um, so I just want to change this very easily. All right. So there we go. Just going to call it LR. Uh, let's say I don't know two. All right. Should be simple. Do you want to change the format? That's what it says here. If I use my super Google Translate portion, all right. So yes, we're done. Let's scrap it off again. So let's go back to the Ericsson box and give it a try with the, uh, the database portion. So now I want to upload that file. The system will recognize it's an LR format, so it's a ring format, and it will place it accordingly to the system and be able to and be able to be accessible by the phones afterwards. All right, so let's see this. All right, let's open it up, save, and voila, we're done. All right, so that's done. You want to make sure that it's there. If you go in File, View, Delete, if it's in the proper format, it will appear here, basically. Let me just refresh my page because I played with it in the past. There we go. So it is called LR2. It automatically changed the name or, you know, per se, uh, to whatever he wants. Uh, I don't care. But that's the Ericsson on the back end. But it keeps the LR2. So you want to look for LR2, which is my survivor, you know, track, basically. So if I go back now, let me show you a little bit of the webcam portion. So this is done. So we're going to take the IP phone and tell the IP phone to upload it into the IP phone. Afterwards, we're going to tell the IP phone, play that file. You know, that's pretty much it. So let's give it a try with a, there we go, HD, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> what we want to do is I'm using a super old phone just <laughs> to make sure you fully understand, you know, that it does a job with your super beautiful new IP phone, the LIP you know, 9000 series, obviously it does the job well. So if it works on the old one, it works on the new one. That's pretty much it. So trans program one, all right. I could go five directly. I just want to show you why five, why we're saying the five, basically scroll down a bit. So five is the option station ring download. So I want to download it. I've got a few choices or a few bins or a few space that it can store some different tones, right? Or, 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 or basically audio files. So I've got the bin five, six, seven, eight that I can choose. So I'll throw it into, let's say bin number five for sake of argument. So bin number five will give me some, some, some choices. And now it's pulling whatever it can from the system. The system says, well, well, some audio file. Well, there's not much. Let me show you what I've got. All right. Oh, there is a there is a tone number two there. LR two. All right. I'll choose ch I'll choose that one. I'm sorry. I'll choose that one up. So press two. We'll play it to you. 
Maybe the file is a little bit too loud. It might, but anyway. So let's save it. So now it downloads it per se. Stores it. We're good to go. So now the file is in the phone. I want now to tell the phone, buddy, this is the file I want for my incoming calls. Oh, really? All right. So trans program again. Let's give it a try with the one asking me for, is it for the station ring type or is it for the incoming CO ring pattern? Well, you just for you to choose. In my case, for my scenario, it's a little bit easier for the station. It might have, you know, it had already some already stored in there. Right now it's using the five, as you can see. I could have say press one. I'd rather play the two. So there's some fixed ones in there, as you can see, right? Okay, we're going to play with the five, the six, the eight, and the eight. There we go. So I'll choose that one. That's the one I want. And now I can save it, basically. All right, let's give it a try. Take another phone on the side. Let's see if we can dial the proper number. It will be nice. There we go. We're good to go. That's it. That's all, folks. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.